Okay, I'm going to show you guys how to use Inventor files and open them in Onshape. So it's kind of one of the cool features of Onshape is that it will recognize solid model uh, parts and files from other softwares like SolidWorks or Inventor. So when we go to create, we're not going to do document this time, we're going to import files. Now you do need to know where your files are located and I have them in this engineering projects folder and I have cross member right here. I'm going to open this up. I want it to be a single document. I'm not going to split it up into existing ones. And you're going to do that for three of your parts. If you have to happen to have them all together, then you can probably bring them in all at the same time, but mine are all scattered around. So you can see I got cross members to the leg and then I need my seat. So it's a little seat. Okay. And they've imported. Now the cool thing about them is you can edit them once they're in here. They can be modified. So if we go on the cross member, see it brought in. Now, Onshape does not have the features that Inventor has, which you can rename this, by the way. IPT stands for uh, Inventor Part File. And... It doesn't recognize that I had this a material is like a wood grain color. So Onshape interprets it the best it can by giving it like this, this brownish color. And now you'll see the uh, preview will, will come into play as it starts to recognize what exactly I want it kind of to look like. But as I said, these are editable. You can modify these. I can go in here uh, and I can add things to it. What you can't do is you will not see the original sketch of these parts that came in okay so that is one thing to note uh it it imports it just as a solid model uh but if i needed to change like the size of this you can see it's an import i don't have the sketches available to me but i can start adding things on uh to this and modify um and edit some things but i'm not going to be able to get into the original sketch or anything to fix this. If you, if you needed to do that, you'd have to go back to the original um, sketches that you made and edit them then, and then bring them in if you were if you were going to use uh, on shape. So that's how you import uh, files or parts. Now, in the next video, we're gonna assemble this.